Keith is the Ironman 70.3 World Champion for 2014 and 2015. She came to Kona last year as the Ironman World Championship rookie and she came here wanting to win. She is back this year having uh, finished in second place in Kona last year. Daniela, how has your preparation gone for this year's event? Um, yeah, my preparation has gone really well. Um, I've been since Frankfurt. Um, I've been uh, training for for this race, and um, yeah, it's been. I've been in uh, in Jeju in South Korea for the last four weeks, and we had some you know some good good uh, heat there, and some also some humidity. So I prepared really well. I there's nothing else I could have done you know more, and um, so now I'm happy to be back here, and of course I'll. I want to show a good race and really perform well on, on race day. We uh, watched an interview uh, recently there where you said you came to Kona last year wanting to win. How much more aggressively do you want to win this year? Yeah, I definitely put more effort in it. Um, I, it's a big goal this year and I really um, you know, trained for it. So I think that's going to definitely make me more motivated as well. And. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, there's not much more I can do now. I've done all the work, and now um, I just gotta, you know, perform. And um, that's normally it's, that's the fun part. And um, it's definitely gonna be a really hard race. There's a lot of good athletes here. Um, Miranda's gonna be strong, and um, many more. Um, many more girls can, you know, ride really fast and run strong. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the race as well. I haven't. I this year I only done two. I mean, it's my second Ironman this year. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see if I can really hold it together till the end. What do you think it's going to take to outrun Rini uh, this year to take the title? Well, I had some uh, funny dreams that, about Rini um, that she ran at 2.24, so I'm prepared for everything. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I've got to ride fast and I, I believe I can run fast too. So I think that's um, something I'm not going to run scared. I'm just going to focus and run strong. and. Um, then yeah, if she catches me, then it's going to be a battle. But um, we'll see. Uh, I I believe I can run strong as well, and um, so we'll see what's going to happen. And obviously, being part of the Bahrain endurance team has been a big change for you for this year. And there are a number of contenders who you're racing with here on the team, including Jody and Caroline. Has that made your preparation slightly different? Has it been a, of a benefit to you as an athlete coming into this World Championships? Yeah, it's definitely nice to you know when you can meet up with the with the train uh, with the team teammates. Um, being here um, at this uh, beautiful beach um, in this uh, nice house, uh, so you do like you share a few um, you know stories or memories, and um, it definitely helps. And I mean, Caroline also from Switzerland. Um, we're gonna race for the same country. Um, of course, we both want to win, so um, we're not gonna give it give ourselves any um, any uh, help but um, definitely it's, it's good to yeah be as such a you know good team and it makes us uh, yeah gives us some uh, more power and the one question we've asked everybody this morning is what would it mean to you to take the title on Saturday it would it would mean a lot to me um, I, it, yeah definitely worked really hard for it and so now I came back and um, yeah it's my family are like my mom is here and some friends are here, so it would mean a lot to uh, to be able to cross that finish line um, in a very fast and still you know be able to enjoy the, the crowd. So um, that's definitely a goal, and um, I'm going to go out there on Saturday and give everything I have. Well, best of luck. Uh, we look forward to seeing you Thank on Saturday you. on the start. Thank, Thank you for joining us.